20th Century Fox has pulled the trailer for its new movie, Neighborhood Watch. Some suspect Fox made the move as a response to the shooting death of Florida teen Trayvon Martin. Neighborhood Watch stars Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, and Jonah Hill as members of Block Watch. The preview shows them rolling down the street, menacing members of the neighborhood. As you know, Trayvon Martin was unarmed when he was shot and killed by a self-described neighborhood watchman, with certain themes in the movie so closely mirroring the real-life tragedy. Some are saying the movie's release should be postponed from its July 27th release date. We want to know what you think. Should the film be put on hold in light of the Trayvon Martin shooting? And joining us to discuss this topic and more, we have today's guest, Olympic gold medal winning swimmer Misty Hyman. So good to have you here. Thank you so much, Rebecca. It's great to be here. Yeah, you're a Valley native, so we appreciate you being here. You're big here for a big induction tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up. But first, your reaction to this film and, and, and what, 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 what has happened in Florida. Really a tragedy. It is. It is. And I agree. I think it should be delayed. I think it's it's important to have uh, to recognize what's happening and, and especially with so much response from the public I think it it makes sense to postpone it and uh, and wait and you know I, I don't know how long is the right amount of time because yeah. uh, I think this is something that we're going to talk about for a long time obviously the movie has nothing to do with yeah. what happened there it's the timing and I'm pretty sure the studio execs are going to say we need to respect the situation, step back, and introduce it at a better time. Exactly. I agree. Yeah, and that's exactly what the executives said. They said, you know, we are, we are paying respects to this family. We know it is so fresh. It is so new. And Florida really at odds. There are still protests. There's protests right here in the Valley, right. you know, today. So people are still very ignited by this. But how closely do you think people look at movies as a reflection of society? Do you think there's, there is a mirror there? I think there is. And I think especially when it's something, like you said, that hits so close to home. But uh, I know it's easy to say, well, it's just comedy and everybody should be able to take a joke. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think when you talk about a tragedy of this significance, uh, it's, it's, it goes beyond just being a joke. All right, let's get to what you're saying online. Marilyn Tucker McCall writes, I'm amazed that they did something right, and I think the movie should be held up. Yeah, a lot of people are really crediting Fox for this, mm -hmm. you know, their the 20th Century Fox. They're saying good for this company for taking the high road here and really kind of pulling back a little bit. So it may actually benefit the movie. People may, may actually go and see it when they do decide right. to release it because of the respect that they're showing. Absolutely. A lot of companies get a benefit from recalling right away and not trying to cover up. Yeah. Uh, mistakes that they might have made and usually they benefit from saying hey this is something we ought to think twice about even though it affects our bottom line all right well the reaction to the killing of Trayvon Martin is far from over even here in the valley today at five o'clock there will be another rally in his honor many people like those who took part in rallies over the weekend they want to see the shooter George Zimmerman charged for Martin's death today's rally is being held in less than two hours at Cesar Chavez Plaza that is in downtown Phoenix we will have a crew there and we We'll bring you a live report coming up today at 5.